shadows can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? Well-armed individuals that visit the rectory tend to be here for that. Chanter Rosmond is tireless and resolute in her duties. I'm sure you can find something of interest on her board. I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this chantry. <laughs> and pride again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. My thought exactly, but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlais, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the Maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. And often close to heretical. But I believe that the truth only increases the awe of the Maker and his prophet, not demean it. Even false symbols have the power to inspire. But it seems every year we fall more out of touch with the real Andraste. Certainly, my research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn. But it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, though it's possible the urn broke. Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my skepticism. So many claims, so few truths. Of course, enjoy your visit to the Chantry. In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Oma. Did someone die? I remember a funeral. King Kaelin died, remember? Along with most of the army at Ostagar? Make a guide them all. That which you fear, living in the shadow of death alone, I have seen it is only a cloud passing before the sun. The death toll at Ostagar was staggering. We've had a funeral every day for a lost son or daughter of Denerim, and we've many more yet to hold. Are they singing the chant now? It's a funeral, isn't it? He should have retired to Valroyo years ago, but he wanted to stay and serve the remainder of his days in his homeland. It's the lyrium that does this. He wouldn't be a Templar anymore. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked, and do not falter. He doesn't forget who he is, even if he can't remember anything else. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. As there is but one world, one... I recognize you from Ostagar and trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden, Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend, 
and good King Kalen. I demand satisfaction, sir. An uncommon traitor deserves no common death. We will meet on the field of honor, and my blade shall see justice done. Meet me in the back alley behind the Nord Noble Tavern. There we will duel. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Logain's word? I do not like your tone, sir. But you may be right. I may regret this, but I cannot duel someone who may be guiltless. Leave, Warden. If I find proof, we will meet again. Do you think they sell silk ribbons in that store? I've been meaning to spruce up my boots for the longest time. Yes? Something you need? Yes? What's on your mind? Where did you hear this? And you believe everything you hear? <laughs> Not all minstrels are spies. Most are just singers and storytellers. But some of them are... are what we call bards. Many use the two words, minstrel and bard, interchangeably, but to do so in Orlais would cause misunderstanding. Bards are minstrels and more. Spies, as you say. Some say there is a bard order, but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. What do you think? They infiltrate, steal, sometimes assassinate? It depends on the bard. In Orlais, there is much rivalry amongst the highborn. They fight over land, influence, and the favor of the empress. But they cannot do this openly because it is impolite, and in public, they wear smiling faces and pretend to be civil. In secret, they plot and scheme to destroy each other. It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. I have revealed too much, it seems, but it doesn't matter what I used to be. It is the past. I found myself in Ferelden and sheltered from bad weather in the Chantry. And when the storm passed, I just did not want to leave. I like to see the Maker brought me here. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> I assume you are actually asking whether Flemeth herself gave birth to me. Truly, I do not know. I once asked Flemeth that very question and she merely laughed at me. It is not inconceivable that she could capture a chastened man or perhaps change to a more attractive form to attract him willingly. I find it more difficult to imagine her with child. It seems likely, does it not? In an animal form, a babe could easily be spirited away and raised as Flemeth's own. I do know the tales of Flemeth having many daughters, even though I have never met another. 
and Flemeth has always treated me as her blood. Must one be a doting and simpering moron to be considered a suitable mother? Flemeth taught me everything I needed to learn. How to survive, the meaning of power, the truth of men. If other mothers do not teach these things, then I believe them the lesser. Room for coddling and weakness? Why should such things be desirable? To indulge in love is to indulge in delusion. Surely a Grey Warden such as yourself does not believe otherwise. I see. Well, we all have our weaknesses, don't we? Stuff. You think they, um... Have any miniature golem dolls? Something on your mind? Of course. You mean, other than becoming a Grey Warden? Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too, and all I got was, you'll see. Oh, it's not that Duncan wants to keep it a secret, it's just that the Grey Wardens don't discuss it much. I gather it's not a pleasant topic. The first change I noticed was an increase in appetite. I used to get up in the middle of the night and raid the castle larder, I thought I was starving. I'd slurp down every dinner like it was my last, and <laughs> my face all covered in gravy. When I'd look up, the other Grey Wardens would stare, then laugh themselves to tears. More like an initiation. They all went through it too. Oh, and then there were the nightmares. Duncan said it was part of how we sensed the Darkspawn. We tap into their, well, I don't know what you call it, their group mind. And when we sleep, it's even worse. You learn to block it out after a while, but at first it's hard. It's supposed to be worse for those who join during a blight. How is it for you? Some people never have much trouble, but that's rare. Others have trouble sleeping their entire life. They're just more sensitive, I suppose. Everyone ends up the same, though. Once you reach a certain age, the real nightmares come. That's how a Grey Warden knows his time has come. Oh, that's right. We never had time to tell you that part, did we? Well, in addition to all the other wonderful things about being a Grey Warden, you don't need to worry about dying from old age. You've got 30 years to live give or take. The taint. It's a death sentence. Ultimately, your body won't be able to take it. When the time comes, most Grey Wardens go to Orzammar and die in battle rather than waiting. It's tradition. You'll always find Darkspawn down where the dwarves are. The oldest Grey Wardens head to the deep roads for one last glorious battle. Not that there's a shortage of Darkspawn during a blight, but that's the tradition. The dwarves respect us for it. And you wondered why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. Well, there you have it. You know, Duncan... He started having the nightmares again. He told me that in private. He said it wouldn't be long before he'd go to Orzammar himself. I guess he got what he wanted. I just wish it had been something worthy of him. I know. Ending the blight should make this all worthwhile, right? Yes, make it quick. 
strange. Let's see this. I knew it. I gave that man the best seven weeks of my life. Well, I guess he won't have me to push around anymore. Ha! <laughs> Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? <laughs> 